here, and this is another episode of my technical Feed the Beast series. As you can see, we got more lava here. I've got over, uh, oh, it went down. I had over half, but I've been using a lot of it. So today, last week I showed you, what, what is, eh. yeah, that's for later. Actually, I updated my computer a bit, so it's running a lot smoother now. <clears throat> I have Java was outdated, my video card drivers were outdated, Optifine was outdated. I was slacking. Yeah. So, the basic thing today I have to show you guys is I am doing thermal expansion and build craft power. Now, build craft really doesn't have a whole lot in here that needs to be powered. Uh, pretty much the only thing build craft that needs to be powered, at least that you're going to be using all the time, that everyone's going to be using, is uh, the quarry, the pump, and the refinery. Which, of course, I don't have a ref I don't have oil, but I can create a tank of oil real quick. Actually, I should have done that. Um, this is going to be a two-parter, I suppose, or at least um, I'll do. Let me just uh, make one up real quick. I can make up a small tank. And then I need one of these. Alright, so basically it's a good way to show you the tank too. I'll just do by three by three. This is a small tank. Do 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 and actually I can do a four by three by four. Because that's the maximum size you can go is three by four. To break this. Oh, so something um, interesting. If you have a tank and if you break one thing, bam, it looks like all the lava is gone, but if you put it back, the lava comes back. I don't know exactly how far you can destroy it. I'm sure it's uh, you can't destroy the entire structure or else the lava goes away. But let's say I wanted to add a valve so I can just pop it, put it in, <clears throat> and now I have a new valve to do work with. Which is pretty cool. I found that out completely by accident when I um, broke it. And I'm like, oh god, I hope I didn't lose 4 million buckets of lava. So basically, make a quick tank. Nope. Okay. So. Oh, that's why. Does anyone know why it's not working again? There we go. So, I'm going to give myself a 1, 2, 3, 4... One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm not going to need a whole bunch of stuff, just basically a display. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And, uh, I am going to use the, I can go pick select these, select block function, these guys. But basically, and then liquid ducts. Ordinarily, you'd need a uh, a wrench to get rid of those, but because I'm in creative, I can just pop them off. And I didn't even think about doing this before, so let me see. Let me turn this on. Will it pull out oil? Oh, wait. <coughs> Maybe I need... That's because I need my... Uh, I need to wrench it out. So, do that. There we go. So now this fills up with oil. I'll do this. And then I have these cool tanks over here, which are actually portable tanks. And I'll show you these guys in just a second. Let me just throw this on here. This is going to be an out. Uh, this is also going to be an out. Okay, good. This is not going to pull out oil. And then I need power, so... There. 
So, oh, I was working fast. So yeah, that's gonna work. So basically, today, uh, ordinarily, you would not actually want to do this because you don't want to have all the machines together, and I am missing one, and it is. Let's see, there should be... There should be a section for thermal expansion in here, I believe. Maybe not. Huh, I could swear there was. That's how I got all of this stuff easily. Um, let me go back to here then, and I will do... Wait, I pass it up. No, oh, it's build craft. Um, next, 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 next. The only thing I'm missing is uh, these are train craft stuff. Um, I am just missing this like crazy, aren't I? Ah, and I went through all of them. I missed it. I passed it by somewhere. You guys are probably screaming at me right now. We're like, hell spawn, you pass it up, it's back here, and here it is. Mm, here we go. So what I need is blop. So get rid of this. And so basically pumps pump liquid, but really and if you're gonna use it for just water and an aqueous accumulator is better. Pumps are really only good for moving lava around, so get rid of that. And a quarry, these things are cool. Basically, they create a section, and you can use markers to make it bigger. They run off of this power. <clears throat> and then, of course, this guy here, this oil guy. Which, surprisingly enough, is actually working pretty quickly. That's probably because I got these uh, magmatic engines running now. Now, see, I love the thermal expansion engines. Oh, no, these are electric engines. Yeah, so these guys are actually converting uh, this power. They're converting your um, EU from the industrial craft, industrial craft mod into Minecraft jewels, which is used by um, industrial or the uh, thermal expansion and the build craft, which build craft doesn't have a whole lot of machines. Now, this is a redstone energy cell, and this is where these guys come into function. So, basically, this is really easy to understand um, for the build craft part. You can use any build craft engine if you want. So you can use the redstone, sterling, or combustion. The redstone owes only enough power to power pumps. like, And then you need like, a couple of them. The sterling runs off coal and is cool for a while. And the combustion is what it runs off of fuel. And these guys are pretty... They're pretty awesome. The only thing is you have to have the fuel. And you get fuel from this. And of course I got rid of the buckets I had because I am an idiot. Pretty much you get fuel out of a refinery. You make it... Oh, right. Uh, so basically, that's derping this right there. I'm just being derpy. So take this off. Do, do, do. And basically, you throw in fuel here. And you have to throw in water on this side too. And there goes my dog barking for some reason. Oh, okay, how do I fix this? Oh, here we go. Yeah, and then... How do I fix this? Wait. <coughs> and whack it somehow. Um, there's a way to fix this. Uh, they're having the same problem. Oh, there we go. Okay, so... These tanks have to be filled up with wa with uh, water, otherwise they will explode. And so far, I've never had a one of these explode when it was running off of this. But basically, get out of here. Basically, this guy will generate six Minecraft jewels per tick as long as it has fuel. And these will run right into the current, and it'll feed into the surplus supply. These are redstone energy cells, and these things are ridiculous. They hold. They hold that much Minecraft jewels, and they're completely portable. 
So I can actually take this off, and it has well, it has no charge. Oh, it has 23 Minecraft jewels charge. So what I will do is I will actually uh, red stone. <clears throat> Pull out the full one. So now we see it has 6,000, 60,000 MG. Plunk that down. And these will remember exactly what the placement was, which is really cool. So you can change your, the output. Then we throw it on a max output. So uh, these redstone things, these uh, these right here are part of the thermal expansion po the mod. The build craft pipes are these ones here. The pretty pretty convoluted. You need to have a wooden conductive pipe to pull water to pull power out of the engines, and then the pipes can fill up, and they each every single pipe section. I'll show you guys a second. So basically, do this, blam, and then uh, I need golden conductive, blam. But this is that I need wood conductive. So basically, you'd pull out of this with the wooden conductive, and then you would have to do like this. But the only problem with this is once you get too many of these with power running through them, each one of these pipes sends a block update to the world. Because it fills up, it actually fills up with power, which is not how you know wires work. So basically, these redstone energy, these redstone energy conduits carry power. The only thing that updates is this and this. You don't have every single section updating. Plus, the transmission is instant, so you don't have to worry about your machines taking forever to fill up. And this guy right here runs forever on its fuel. It runs so long on fuel. But the the build crafts or the the magma this is things, these are a thermal expansion uses their own engines too <coughs> which are these guys. So you get your steam engine, which of course runs off of steam. And then you get your magmatic engine which runs off of magma. So basically, I could throw magmatic engine here, here, and I got to rotate this guy, and he's got to pull out. Then I can take my liquid ducts, and I can run it off of this guy. Ah, damn it. Well, I can do this. Okay, either way, they'll still work. Basically, run it off here and here, and then into here. And I just need to hit that. There we go. So you gotta tap the side. So now these will start running off of it. Oh, no, nope, stop that. These will start running off of magma, and they put out four Minecraft jewels per tick, which is more than these guys. But these guys can actually be up, uh, upgraded to ten or to like eight Minecraft jewels per tick or something like that. Plus they run off of the one energy supply. Oh, and I don't think there's a way to convert from Minecraft jewels back into Buildcraft power. I think Buildcraft is the odd man out. <coughs> and then, uh, so basically that's it for the, the power supplies. These are really simple to work with. You don't have to worry about wiring. It's all the same wiring. You don't have to worry about this. The only thing you have to worry about is your combustion engine may explode. These, I think, break. These ones will break, and if they do... So let's see if I did like this. Let's see if I can get these to stop working. All right, so I'll show you these that I'm not working in a bit. So under the machineries, uh, these function very similarly to the industrial craft stuff over there, but they are easier to make. Uh, this guy makes ice, snow, and uh, ice snow balls and snow blocks they're really cool about intaking water and using power but if you have yourself an aqueous accumulator it will always be fed with water and look this guy's done with his uh, thing <coughs> so it'll always be fed with water and it'll just keep making snow and ice for you and there's actually ways to use this to do a bunch of cool stuff you can actually make snow blocks and create automated snow golem factories with red power and so the pulverizer, essentially, it acts just like a 
it acts just like a macerator in the fact that you throw ores into it and it gives you dust. So I can throw a gold ore in here. It'll work. Then it'll spit up dust. Bam. And you just throw this dust in, an, in a furnace or... So if I throw this in a powered furnace... It w oh. Damn it. I did the wrong thing. I need to disable this. I threw it over here in the, the liquid transposer. So you get gold. But yeah, there it makes the gold. But <coughs> this is actually completely unnecessary. I mean, you can make this and it'll work. But this guy here, the induction smelter, uh, let me see, I need a stack of sand and a couple iron. Actually, let me give myself, like, a uh, stack of iron. Whatever. It, it's it's cool. It's free. So, do this, and then I'll put iron ore in here. And he has to have sand, and it has to have iron ore, and it'll give you, it'll give you the ores, and it'll give you two of the things without actually having to go through the extra process of smelting it. And every time it smelts an ore, it has a chance to give slag. And I'll show you that whenever we do that. But the cool thing about this is you can actually use a system for here to have a pulverizer output uh, sand and then you would take in or you'd have this guy up here which is called the igneous extruder. Basically, you throw in lava and water, and it'll make free cobblestone. You can have this cobblestone go into a pulverizer. It'll put out here a sand, and you have it be pulled out with a with a uh, item pipe, and put in here as this. Why is this not working? It should be working, unless it doesn't work with iron anymore. No, it still works. Oh, 5% chance. That's why. It's got a low percentage chance. So let me go uh, pull out a better ore then. And basically the cool thing is, is while it's still smelting, it takes it before it smelts. So it takes it before it's finished and outputs in and uh, so that way you could put in extra stuff. I'm trying to get a slag. There we go. <clears throat> and the cool thing about this guy is if I take, I put two in here. So I put two of these dusts, or two of the ores, to get two gold dust. And I'll get another two gold dust. You go over here. You throw in the gold dust and the slag. Oh, other order. Uses recipes. Uh, it should be working. Oh. Oh, they changed it. Interesting. I used to be the. They must have changed in the last the last update. So I throw these guys in here. They probably just made it easier. Then you really don't even need a pulverizer. Then do you? I guess you just need a big sand. But you see, one ore became three. So out of that two ore, I got six. I got six blocks, and that's really cool thing for uh, doubling your production. Oh, I see. So turning it into dust makes it smelt faster. So that's the benefit is uh, if you turn it into dust, it smelts like three times, like two times faster. If you leave it as an ore, you get the rich slag. And the sawmill is basically. I'll show you guys one, two, three, four, five. Of course, I totally miscounted. But basically, you throw it in here, and it gives you six planks instead of four. And that gives you wood pulp, <coughs> which this is used for. So what this is used for? I haven't actually used a sawmill yet because I haven't needed a bunch. I haven't needed enough wood for it to use it. Oh come on. Minecraft, stop crashing. Um.
Oh, there we go. Crazy, I thought it crashed for a second. Alright, so it basically turns into a tiny wood pulp. Now you can do it, you can compress it into a wood plate. What is a wood plate used for? Um, uses on this. Oh no, it's taking forever to. Why is it taking forever to start up? That's weird. Maybe some issue, new issue. That's very odd. <coughs> Maybe it's because I'm recording it right now. And then the wood plates can be used as. Oh, they can be used just as a uh, as wood planks can. That's cool. So it gets it gets like free wood out of it. This is all the shape crafting stuff. Shaped ice tea suit crafting. Oh, can use it in the uh. <coughs> the shaped icy two macerated back into wood pulp, which is lame because it took eight to get in there. Sawmill it to wood pulp. Huh, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> so yeah, you get your, uh, yeah, you get your, you get that, it multiplies, it gives you extra wood. This is a uh, magma crucible, and it does different things depending on what you put in it. If you put in netherrack, um, you put in netherrack, cobblestone, smooth stone, or obsidian, and it'll give you, uh, lava. Now they changed the recipe for this, it used to be 8,000, now it's 12,000, so you can't get, like, as much lava out of it as you could originally but then uh, you have these guys you can throw in snowballs you can throw in snow blocks and ice to convert it to water or you throw in redstone or you throw in an ender pearl oh yeah I mean uh, that's the last thing I forgot about is that was actually just added so let me get some ender pearls that should be Miscellaneous. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So I will fill up this tank. And this thing is actually feeding into this guy here, which is a liquid transposer. Whoa. Why is that full up already? That shouldn't be full up. Unless it produces a lot more. Let's see. Posts. Yeah, it does 250 Minecraft buckets. Well, okay. Huh, weird. So I don't think there's a texture yet for the molten ender. Oh, damn it. No. Should oh. I always forget that's a wrench. Okay, liquid transposer. It's getting power now. The top is yellow. This is blue. So yeah, basically, oh, okay, that's a weird texture issue, I'll have to send that up to the, uh, the mod developer, that liquid, that texture is actually supposed to be inside, um, very strange, and my computer decided it didn't like that, alright, so basically, let me pull this off, how much is in here now? 2,000. Um, let me turn this into an input. Okay, and then hit this guy. There. Ah, uh, so basically, I can't show you that. Um, the liquid nether rack is the liquid. This is actually for these tesseracts now. And these tesseracts are really cool. Um. Uh, not 
fully implemented yet, and I really don't know about the uh, exactly how it works. They're pretty in uh, complicated, so if I'm gonna do it, I might do it as a uh, as its own little thing as I as I get further. So basically, this is pretty much just. useless to talk about right now. And I get myself a somewhat full okay, there we go. Alright, so I got myself a Tank. So basically, I did it again. So this is the liquid transposer, and basically, it uh, if I take a oh great uh, I'm gonna see you in D O I T. So if I take if you make one of these these redstone energy conduits, you get an empty one. Basically, you get an empty one. So you have to throw it in the liquid transposer, and then you have to take this guy here. So you take this is a tank I made beforehand. You throw redstone in here, the micro crucible, and it turns it into molten molten redstone. Then you put it in this guy. Now transfer it now. So you put it in this guy, and while it's in your Come on, while it's in your liquid transposer, it will fill up these redstone conduits. So it'll fill it up with redstone and with molten redstone and give you the redstone energy conduits. And that's how you make those guys. And if you wanted these redstone energy cell, you also have to fill it up. And it's basically inventory. <coughs> A-D-S-T-O-N-E. It is this guy. Uh, what? Why eight pages? Uh, there's eight pages here. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, let's see. I need. Why is cobblestone transport pipe here? <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'll just delete all this and go here. So two zero zero six. And that should give me all of that stuff with that item number. Which is this an energy cell? What? What is this? Uh, I hate when things aren't easily f found in here. That's my major grab about this, is it's kind of hard to find things in here once you get into it. Um, I don't know, let's see, the recipe for this is a energy cell frame. And it's this guy here. This is two zero two six two. And here we go, energy cell frame. Oh, backspace, backspace. So I wanna give me sixty four, I don't just want one of these. So basically you make this energy cell frame, throw it in here, and that'll fill it up with redstone. It takes a bit. And let's see. These guys are still going. Man, our tick is getting pretty low though. And this guy still has power. And this guy's still going. This guy's going on that single bucket of lava. Or that single bucket of fuel. Fuel in those things are so ridiculous. <coughs> and then eventually, you know, 
with Greg Tech installed, I wouldn't even really bother with Industrial Craft. The only thing I would have, the only thing I have Industrial Craft on my server is uh, one of these guys, and that's just for charging my jetpack. So I just have a couple of magmatic engines running everything, and uh, there we go, it's full. But it's still not ready yet because to make it into a redstone energy cell you need to do something else which is a bit crazier and I'm not going to do it because I don't have the materials uh... and this is a powered furnace it runs just like a regular furnace can't cook the wood pulp I can't do that but uh... <clears throat> yeah it's basically it's basically it for this it's really all that is for uh... for thermal expansion at least for the beginner stuff that's just how this works i mean it's super simple you don't with the thermal expansion wiring and the item, the liquid pipes these don't make lag these don't make room lag they don't require um, pumps if i was using uh... Build craft. I'd actually have to throw in a redstone pump right here, pointing at the pipe, pointing at the build craft pipe, and then I have to put a lever here. I have to put a lever here and have this running all the time. It's just a hassle. You don't have to worry about it. it just cuts down on a lot of block updates. Uh, basically, so yeah, it's just super simple. You don't have to worry about any transformers. You don't have to worry about this. The industrial craft is more like actual wiring and the Greg and Greg is just making it even more like actual wiring. Now if you go if you guys are starting up a server, if you guys are starting up a um a feed the beast playing playthrough, go with these guys. Go with the liquid. Go with the thermal expansion. Um it's going to be it's gonna save you a lot of trouble in the long run. <coughs> and then uh I actually think uh, Industrial Craft has the nano armor. Maybe. Maybe. Don't quote me on that. But it has like the nano suit leggings. No, these are. Uh, I don't know who these are from. No, they're EU. I know they have some. Quantums are EU. They have some armor class of their own. Wow, that's crazy. Um, they have their own little armor stuff. Maybe it's the... Uh, maybe it is this here. The EXO stuff. Or these might be something else. It's whatever, it's whatever else is in here. Item subsets. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff in here. And, uh. Yeah, but the, these XO cool. Or XOs are cool because you can actually throw multiple items into them and you have, like, the durability of every of the item in there. You don't get, a uh, Enchantments, though, which is kind of crappy. And I think that's basically it for. for thermal expansion and build craft. And build craft itself is re uber simple, I mean you just have the quarry. Now you can see with these power mods here, this thing is ridiculously fast. And the transmission power for this thing is instant, so you don't have to worry about it running out. Um, there's ways to use uh, these pneumatic tubes, but I believe that is part of red power. So look how fast this is going. Look at that. See how crazy that is? Look at how fast that is. But this is a super flat world. Also, gonna get is a. I think the only thing it'll get is a. <laughs> is a. Sandstone. Oh my god, it's exploding. It's exploding blocks everywhere. 
and all these things are all transparent, so it's trying to they're trying to float up through it. Oh my god, it's a block fountain. <laughs> Look at that, that's crazy. Okay. Oh, it's I gotta wait for it to run out of power. Look how much power it built up in that. It's crazy, it's still going and I cut the power. Why whoa, that had a lot of built up energy in it. There. Jeez. Yeah, you see how good those you see how good these things are? How good these wires are? You would not get that fast with a uh, build craft wires. And it wasn't even gen it wasn't even taking out of this thing. This guy is actually still increasing in power right now. And these are when are these gonna break? Oh, it's dispersing its extra energy. These won't break. But look, look how fast it look how fast it gets rid of the energy. It just drops by thousands each time. You would not get that with uh built craft pipes. These energy these redstone energy cells are by far the best way to transport uh power. And this guy's still going. So uh basically guys, that's it for this episode. Uh, next episode is going to take a bit of more time to prepare because it is actually like real electricity. So it is actually like real full-fledged electricity and I will show you guys more in-depth on that one because if you guys are going to be doing stuff with it, it is super necessary. And I'll give you a sneak peek. This stuff here. These things are pretty cool. It's a little automatic water mill station. Oop. A cool little sneak peek. Oh, get rid of that. Whoa, why is it? Okay, there we go. Uh, so basically, this guy is really cool. It's just t tiny sneak peek, guys. This thing here is pulling buckets out of these guys here. So it's pulling empty buckets out. And this guy, right here, now this one is taking water, it looks like. So this guy's taking water. It's actually filling it into buckets. Because <coughs> the bucket will come out of here. Empty bucket, the bank will go in here. So basically, this pulls water out of an infant source which throws it into this guy here which will which is saying to which is set to pull out water uh full water buckets out of this guy so it pulls out a water bucket sends it down these pipes and it'll go into one of these cool things this guy is say, is asking these at the end here for any water empty water buckets it'll send it over and go in and this guy here is a battery box and this is the similar setup over here Oh, this one's running. That could have been why I was getting a little bit of lag. And it's doing the exact same thing. Except it's been running this entire time I've been recording these last two episodes. So yeah, this is a little sneak peek. There's actually a somewhat easier way to do this here. With the new uh, mod installed. Or the new mods. So yeah, basically, guys, so that's it. Um, sneak peek of what I'm going to be doing next time. I'll be working with Red Power. And I am trying to get it, my understanding of it, a little bit better. Uh, I have tried playing around with it a bit, and I have actually lost... Um, I had a tunnel bore machine here. This is the one I made. It worked. It dug two layers of blocks out, and then it got stuck on something. And this is the test world I downloaded for some someone else. This is the thing he made, and if I flick the lever, it works. Yeah, I don't know why his works. Mine doesn't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay, that's really laggy. 
Okay, stop. Stop. There we go. Stop that. His works, but mine doesn't. And I built it the exact same way. And I have no idea why. I have no idea why. And I actually have to troubleshoot and find out why it is not working. So that's one of the things I've been having issues with is this. So that's way over here where I cannot see my failure. And then over here I've got my successful thing. So next time I will be bringing you guys um, red power. Yeah, this is a uh, sandstone all the way down. So yeah, I'm gonna be playing around with red power a lot and creative, figuring out exactly how it works. Um, I did, I do know a bit about electronics, like kind of amateur hobbyist tinkering, tinkering kind of thing. So it'll be a bit easy for me to figure out. <coughs> and uh, yeah. What about these guys is uh, they run without redstone signal. Unlike this guy. This guy has to have a redstone signal. These guys have to have redstone signals. These guys will run without a redstone signal. And you can actually use a redstone signal to turn them off. Or use a redstone signal to turn them on. So, basically guys, I will see you later. You guys have fun. Take care. Keep Minecrafting. And let me know if you guys... Um, if this is actually helpful for you guys. So, peace out.